Like I said, moving across to the egg tray, looking to the egg tray, creating a canny from the image, finding the largest bound area, finding the centre of that area, then moving to the centre, taking another canny image, and it now knows where the tray is. It's now looking across at the balls, and it's trying to find the ball that's furthest away from the egg tray. Uh, it's selected a ball, now rotates the grippers to get the best angle on picking up the ball. It's picked up the ball, moving it across to the egg tray, and dropping it in the egg tray. Now looking for the next ball, same procedure as before, finding the ball that's furthest from the egg tray. Rotating the grippers for the best angle to pick it up. Picks it up. Moves it across to the egg tray. Finds the next place and drops the ball in the egg tray. And it will carry on doing this until it's found all the balls and moved them to the egg tray. Now the technique used to find the balls is half circles. You can see on the um, images below on the left where the half circles have been superimposed over the camera image. There's a circle around each ball. A dot showing the center. Notice uh, one of the balls was moved as long as it's not moved out of Baxter's reach. Baxter will be able to find it. Three balls left to go. Further details can be found on the Active Robots website at www.activerobots.co.uk Baxter always tries to place the arm above the ball as this is the most accurate way of uh, eliminating as much error as possible. The balls have been found, so it stops.